Here we go. Okay. Episode 50. Is this 50? It is 50. No, five zero. Not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying to you. Oh, you you guys have lied to me before, so. <laughs> Unknowingly. Was, Are you talking about April Fool's Day? Yeah. Except for we didn't lie to you. You were supposed to be in on that. You just don't pay attention to us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And that is how you got tricked. I apologize. Good times. Don't, no, you don't have to apologize. <laughs> Your reaction was all I needed. <laughs> Perfect. Murder. Okay, welcome back to another episode of Healthcare Horrors. Wow, I just wanted to interject. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ashley Boyce, a brand specialist at Atlas. I'm Alicia Caracella, a training and development specialist. And I'm Dolan on the knobs. And today we have another guest. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. Hey guys, Cassidy here, also a training and development specialist. Oh, so you work with Alicia like every day then? Sure do. Or a day. I'm sorry. What's it like Just working kidding. with Alicia? Just kidding. Working with Alicia is great. <laughs> do you? Fantastic. All right, Dolan. <laughs> Alicia, <laughs> what's it like working with Cassidy? Um, wonderful. She answers all the questions that I cannot. There Perfect. you go. I don't know Perfect. what I would do we without her. We compliment each other well. There yeah. you go. <laughs> you gotta have that. Lovely, lovely. So who did we talk about last time then? Last time, Dolan, we talked about Theo V, a more recent case from the Netherlands. And not, then, not the comedian. Not. No. Not no. Theo Vaughn. No. Which, I didn't even know who Theo Vaughn was until I started looking up Theo V, and I was like, who, who is this guy? I'm sorry. I'm it not him. so funny. He is. He's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know comedians, I guess. Um, also, in the same episode, we talked about Heather Presti, and she is a more recent case from the U.S. Oh, yeah, we had a twofer. Yeah, we, had two. we did. Yep. That's that's right. It's it's coming back. Two for one. Two for one episode special. Was she in, was it Michigan? I know that's not or really that. I know that's rings. not what you want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to hear it. You just... can go back to that last episode. <laughs> Show enough. Perfect. Because <laughs> that's where that information is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, today we're talking about... Cassidy, I'm going to let you introduce it. Who are we talking about <laughs> oh, today? What are we talking about today? This was your idea. It was my idea. So what? today we were talking about... Yeah, he pronounces his name Petr Zelenka. Uh, he is a nurse from Czechoslovakia that decided to kill some people. How uh, rude. That's our first from Czechoslovakia? I think it is. Is it? On the 50th episode. I feel so Woo-hoo. honored. <laughs> yeah, you were throwing some other names out there, and I was like, oh, we did them already, um, but we haven't done Petter yet. <laughs> Spell Petter for me. P-E-T-R. Wow. Petter. Petter. So Petter. You, you probably, an American, would probably say Peter, but it was announced Petter. I thought, and I'm going to be completely honest, when you guys were talking in the chat about Petter, I thought it was Peter, and you guys were just... <laughs> Forgetting the E? Yeah, like typo, you know? Like, I don't know. What if, in the chat, you saw the link to the Wikipedia page when we first talked about this? Because mm. you would know at that point that it was Petter and not Peter. <laughs> it's almost like he doesn't pay attention. Wow, that's hey, so weird. When I say that I'm on the knobs, that is my job. I'm on the knobs. You are the knob guy. <laughs> All right, should we, okay. should we get into yep. this guy? We yeah. will. No. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Wait, what? <laughs> That's my line. What are we talking oh about? Stop making me laugh so hard. Okay. <laughs> are we in the gutter? We were. Oh. We're back. We're back. <laughs> we're back. We're out. I totally wasn't, but okay. I was. Here we go. <laughs> I was. Um, that's my bad. Anywho, um, Petr Zelenka was born February 27th, 1976 in the Czech Republic, which makes him a Pisces... We miss that Aquarius cutoff. We've had a lot of Aquarius and Virgo lately, and we don't we don't want to touch that. So, mm-hmm. Pisces are imaginative, compassionate, and intuitive, and they are kind-hearted and always willing to help when needed. Supposedly, so we don't know enough about Petter to to make those this. judgments. Yeah, what's your zodiac sign? I am an Aquarius. Oh snap! Hey, you're outnumbered, Ashley. <laughs> I am a February Aquarius too. So oh. We're a special breed of people. We are. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Wait, you're February too? Yeah. Oh, in January. Boy, 
Bye. I don't know what any of this means, but yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Are you are you a January Aquarius? Yeah, I am a January Aquarius. Yeah. You're a little different hey. than us. Oh, okay. You're a lot kinder than us. <laughs> oh, that makes a lot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> here we go. Shots fired. Just okay. Over here hugging my trees. Yeah, <laughs> hug those trees. <laughs> Ashley, what are you? I'm a Virgo. Virgo. Yeah. Yeah, we were like on a stretch where every person we talked about was either an Aquarius or a Virgo, but up to that point, none of them had been like Mm-mm. Aquarius or Virgo. Mm-mm. So we're like, okay, our people. The they signs were, were trying to tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that our our fellow Aquarians and Virgo, what do, what do you call them? Virgoans? Virgins? <laughs> Virgins? And we're back in the gutter. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Okay, anyways. <laughs> So, Petter was a nurse in Havlikov Broad, um, words are hard, which is about 60 miles southeast of Prague. Um, and I s- put in here a little side note. There's a beer called Staropramen from Prague that we used to carry at a bar here in Omaha called Jerry's Bar. But I think that stopped during COVID. But it was mm. like a cool little fun fact about Jerry's. But back to Peter, Petter, oh my God. Petter had no wife and no children. Um, that we know of no serious relationships or anything to write home about seems like there's just not a lot of background information on him but we do know that his dad's name was Bohumil and um Bohumil Bohumil it's yeah uh-huh. B- I'm gonna name my next dog that B- <laughs> B-O-H-U-M-I-L okay we're calling him Boho Bohu 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 um, we'll Love just call him Bo. So his dad's name was Bo. <laughs> and he had told reporters and the courts um, that Petter was mentally unwell and that he should have been undergoing clinical tests and treatments. But the prosecutors believed that Petter was sane and able to f- accept the full responsibility of his actions. I'm glad you found something about his dad because I didn't see anything about his dad. I had to scour a lot of articles. I'm hmm. so glad you found Boho. <laughs> <laughs> Boho, Bohu, Bo. Bo. It's called Bo. But yeah, so what were those actions? Um, the actions, would you like to dive into what he did? Cassidy? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so our good friend Petter here, he murdered seven people. Um, what I read was that 13 actually died, but he was only charged with seven. Um, he tried to murder, murder 10 others, but they caught those in time. So mm-hmm. that's good. Um, he used a blood, blood thinning drug called heparin, um, and all of his patients were elderly. Um, mm. He was 31 years old when he committed these crimes. Um, he worked at the hospital for seven years before committing these crimes, um, and they took place between May and September of 2006. So potentially up to 30-some victims, if you count the people... <laughs> that he was going to kill no so all premeditated premeditated in a year i think he misunderstood those numbers so he <laughs> run him back cassidy he it was 17 people total 13 okay. of them died but he was only convicted of seven of those there you go uh, um, yeah yeah okay yeah um he was the head Still, nurse in in like what nine months that's crazy yeah so how long did he work at this hospital the hospital was Havlichuv Broad, um, southeast of Prague, and he worked in this hospital for quite some time before he just started yeah. killing people out of nowhere, and we don't really know what the motive was, Mm-mm. other than he wanted to test the doctors to basically see how long it would take them to catch him. Yeah, hmm. he wanted to see them in action, because mm-hmm. he said he was like bored. Yeah, he was bored and just wanted to see some action. I think that was one of the quotes mm-hmm. from him. Yeah, a uh, direct quote was, I thought we would try to save their lives. I did not intend to kill them. I just wanted some action, which is kind of creepy. Hmm. Oof. Yep. <laughs> that doesn't sound like someone who's kind-hearted to no. me. Again, if you're bored, there are other ways to seek excitement in your life. Definitely. <laughs> um, he was also the head nurse um, of the ICU and... Yeah, I don't know. Started 
killing people. Um, he started using heparin because there was an abundance of it at the specific hospital. So I guess it was just easier to get. He, uh, he injected it directly into their veins. Uh, he said the common dose is 10 to 20,000 units, and he was administering 25K or more units oh into their bloodstream. Hmm. So when did the first victim fall? Like when was, that was, you said it was May of? May of 2006 to September of 2006. So that's like a four or five month well, That's span. four or five months. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, he was. So Do- September is when the hospital started getting suspicious of him. And they just, they let him go. They didn't notify authorities right away. Mm -hmm. So in between September and December, when he finally got arrested, he did start working at another hospital. I don't know if he started killing anyone at that hospital. I think it was all at just this one facility. There's just not a lot of information known about this human being in general. Um, The head doctor at the hospital, Pavel Longin, uh, he realized the amount of heparin that was missing and the amount of deaths or internal bleeding deaths specifically and he did help authorities gather evidence against petter but yeah it's kind of you know a lot of people are wondering if it was some sort of conspiracy or cover-up or something like why did they let him go in september and an investigation didn't even start till october and then he doesn't get arrested till december like they were just kind of dragging their feet. I think they maybe were waiting for more solid evidence. I w- I would think yeah. so that they can hold him right. instead of having to let him go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Even yeah. though like they knew it was that guy, you have to you have to be able to prove it. It's true. But Sticky situation. I think what happened with Petter is his intrusive thoughts just started to win. Yeah, like he was doing fine, and then he's like, mm, "Let me try this out," and off he went. When we get to the trial, his trial was a little messy and all over the place. Mm -hmm. Um, At first, he started by pleading guilty. And then later on in the trial, he revoked his confession and said that authorities beat it out of him and forced him to sign the confession papers. And then later, further on in the trial, he pleaded insanity. Is that what... Yep, he <laughs> tried to claim an insanity plea and mm-hmm. underwent some some tests, and they determined yeah. that he was fine. Yeah, <laughs> went some psychiatric tests, yep. and they said, no, you're good. You knew exactly what you were doing. Yeah, well, it sounds like he knew exactly what he was doing. Because he didn't, wanted some yeah, action. He wanted, he, he's <laughs> laid it right out. <laughs> I think he later redacted that statement, Yeah, walked that back, but once you put it out there. Mm-hmm. After he was sentenced or almost sentenced he did appeal for clemency so he wanted um relief from his convictions um but he ended up being sentenced life in prison yep. i think he's hmm. still alive yep and in prison yep. hmm. i guess they would have given him the death penalty but just like the year or two before maybe it was like 2000 the death penalty over in the Czech Republic was revoked. Yep, it was. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yes. There was a another country like that that we talked about that had done that recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it was also said that he showed zero emotion at uh, sentencing, but he did make a quote that or a comment that said, I never wanted to kill your loved ones. Yeah. So See, it's odd but, to not show emotion, but then try but to state an apology to the families. Yeah. It's, Bone I think for sure. that's something that happens when they're just trying to get a lighter sentence, mm-hmm. maybe. Yeah, really was all over the place from I was testing the doctors. I wanted to see some action. I did it. I didn't do it. I was beaten by the police to no, I'm insane. I didn't know what I was doing, but can I have a lighter sentence? And I didn't mean to do it. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Cassidy, just, at the beginning, you said there were 13 victims, seven of them died, and then there was 10 he was thinking about? Uh, so, I think 17 people total mm-hmm. were injected with the heparin. Yeah. Uh, 
13 died of those 17, but he was only charged with seven. Uh Um, I also read that he initially um, admitted to murdering five people um, after the police um, beat him. He then admitted to those two more people mm-hmm. and then redacted his entire statement and said he did none of it. And then went back again and said, I did it for some action. So it was it was pretty messy there for a minute when he was trying to decide whether he did it or not. Mm-hmm. Wow. After he was sentenced to life in prison, he was the 34th prisoner to serve life, a life sentence in the Czech Republic. Fun fact. In 2006. Mm-hmm. So, only the thirty fourth prisoner. So it sounds like they reserve that <clears throat> punishment for really, really bad crimes. Unless they give that many people the death penalty before it was. I guess I didn't think of that. Yeah, I don't know. They probably did. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Just off with their head. No, that's not how they did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think there's not much more to say about Petter. Yeah, is there? After the trial, um, hospitals and health ministry realized the system was obviously a little flawed, just a little, and they needed um, a stricter, more controlled system to prevent things like meds being stolen. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of unclear what protocols were put in place for sure. You know, they realized they had a flawed system, but I don't know what was actually done about it. Hopefully things were a little more strict after that. I read that there was kind of a debate about it of whether it was a flawed system or just kind of the, on an individual basis. And some people were really upset with them saying it was the system overall and that it's just the individuals who mm. did it. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, I do think that there should probably be more like lockdown on meds and stuff, which I'm sure they have. Yeah. On as inventory. times have protocols. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Times have progressed. I think they, that's just across the board everywhere. Like, you can't just go into a storeroom and grab what you need and go. Yeah. <laughs> you have to log it. So this is, like, a fairly recent case being mm-hmm. in 2006. Um, still, with all this being done, that specific hospital was voted eighth best hospital in the country for outstanding level of care. Wow. The same year? I don't know what year exactly, or but... in the past. Some... Still, like, wow. at this point or recently. Mm-hmm. One of the best outstanding hospitals. Well, considering how hard it is to find information on Petter, my guess is it wasn't like highly publicized. Mm hmm. You know? So hospitals want to cover their ass. They do. They it's do. It's a business, after all. It is, unfortunately, a business. This <laughs> is a great example, though, of one person does not have to necessarily ruin it for everyone. <laughs> Oh, I was just talking about that last <laughs> week. <laughs> well, I mean, if they're getting the best awards here, then it clearly didn't ruin the hospital's right value. reputation yeah, overall. Well, maybe they have a better screening process on for the staff that they hire. I'm sure we've had we've had um, people using heparin before, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. It's that's it's just bl- isn't it a blood thinner? It's yeah, blood thinner. yeah. So it's not as common as um, in the insulin, insulin and stuff, yeah. but yeah, or just injecting air into people's or air yeah. or bleach. Yeah, ble- so, yeah, that one. Who was did that? Which one? Which one was that? Sans, um, I'm totally drawing a blank on her first name. It was one of the earlier episodes for say. sure. Yeah, that's crazy. So 50 episodes. That's, 50 episodes. That's crazy. Yeah. Do we want to like give our update? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're not done yet. Oh. Yeah, we have an update. <laughs> okay. For okay, update, and then I want to talk about update, 50 episodes. Update, and then we can talk about okay. it. Okay. Okay, cool. Before, I wanted to stop you before you got into your speech. Okay, cool. You're okay. giving a speech? Sounds like it. Yes. I prepared it for exactly three seconds. Is that why you're drinking? No. <laughs> no that's just like what we do when we have a guest. We just <laughs> yeah, every time we have a guest, cart. you got to welcome in. Yeah, offer, you know? Yeah. Fair we, enough. We, dr- we drink around our guest. We don't <laughs> We don't actually give them a drink. I think she chose not to. I did. How rude. I did. I got to bring my, my daughter to the doctor, so I probably shouldn't oh, yeah. show up with some See, booze in my system. Mm. like alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Um mm. But yeah. I, I don't, so. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Anywho. Okay, so our update is on 
Lucy Letby. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> Lucy dun, Letby. Dun. Lucy we, Letby. Um, I feel She's like we, if you're new to the ep- if you're new to the podcast or if you haven't heard the Lucy uh, Letby episode, please go back, pause this one, go back and listen to that episode. Um, and then we did a video about it. We got a lot of very strong comments about that episode, um, whether it be good, bad. Uh, but to preface it, like we wherever this crime happened remind me where it was in the uk in Mm -hmm. the uk um they made a law where you could not talk about this because it involved children Mm -hmm. um so we're not allowed to say the victim's names and stuff in the uk uh the episode that we put out was banned from the uk for that reason uh but newsflash we're we're not in the uk so we can talk about these things Mm -hmm. um the victim's names are completely open as I mean, just Google it. They're all over the <laughs> They're internet. They're all over the internet. Yes. And we talked about them respectfully, yep. but still. Yes. So uh, before you get the update, I strongly encourage you to go back and listen to that episode. Mm-hmm. Find it anyway. And I think there was so much flack because it was an even more recent case. Like yes. we talked about it kind of as it was unfolding, but. They were still in tr- on trial. Are they still on trial? No. no. no okay. That's the update. Here that's we the go. Update. <laughs> okay. And I will be. Perfectly honest, I'm reading this from APnews.com, an article. I'm just going to read it to you. And so for Lucy Letby, she um, is a former neonatal nurse who was convicted of murdering seven babies in her care and trying to kill six others at a hospital in northern England. Um, And on Monday, um, this Monday, she was sentenced to life in prison with no chance of release by a judge who said she was cruel cunning and callous and acted with malevolence bordering sadism um lucy letby who refused to appear in court for sentencing or to face an outpouring of anger and anguish from grieving parents was given the most severe punishment possible under british law which does not allow the death penalty justice james goss said the number of killings and attempts and the nature of the murders by a nurse entrusted with caring for the most fragile infants provided the exceptional circumstances required to impose a rare whole life order only three other women have received such a harsh sentence in the uk the deep the quote is there was a deep malevolence bordering on sadism in your actions goss said addressing the absent defendant who will be given a transcript of the proceedings during the course of this trial you have coldly denied any responsibility for your wrongdoing you have no remorse there are no mitigating factors um, a Manchester Crown Court jury that deliberated t- deliberated 22 days convicted Letby, age 33, of murdering the seven babies over a year-long period that saw her prey on the vulnerabilities of sick newborns and their anxious parents. Eight jurors showed up to watch the sentencing. So, boom. That's our update. Wow. Did, did she have a motive? <clears throat> um, I don't think so. There, it was, it was, there's again like the case was like really shut down so like mm-hmm. details didn't really get out there we knew the we knew the high level stuff gotcha. but yeah um like i don't think there was crazy. any like listed motive Mm-mm, no but she did some messed up shit fucked up shit remember when i said i was gonna stop cussing fucked up shit <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I can't even imagine what those. Yeah. It was like a lot of like there. twins and triplets and yeah, it was yeah. so it was fucking sad. Because yeah, the neonatal unit there was not mm-hmm. just regular babies, babies that needed a little more attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, um, in one of the articles I was looking at, um, there was a photo of one of her diary entries, and I guess they uncoded it to help like wow see if she did it too like i was looking at it like trying to read it but there was like a lot of stuff like blocked out Mm -hmm. like chicken scratch probably from people writing on it like authorities and stuff but i thought that was kind of interesting but the public was pissed that she wasn't there to receive her sentence and i didn't know that was an option i don't think that's an option in the united states i think you have to yeah you gotta you you have to unless under some medical right well because you you don't you have to like go under oath too? like 
saying like you understand what's happening to yeah, you. Yeah, I think you do. And I think being present is part, part of, of that. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I have seen people on the news like rolled in, dragged in wheelchairs. Yeah. <laughs> Just like <laughs> right. you are going to be here. So yeah. Um, I think, think like how shameful for her to not just stand and face what was coming to her. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. No, I think I'll just stay home today. Maybe it was such a bad crime. They just rather keep her locked up or get yeah, the process maybe. going because they kind of knew what was going to happen anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm and glad that, you know, we have an outcome on yeah. this and those yeah. babies are going to get justice. Yeah. Babies, man. For real. And the That's, judge is sending the written copies of the victim statements there to her to to like read. Do you and think stuff. she's gonna read them? I don't know. Hmm. She's what gonna do you need think? something you think to do gonna, in prison. She's you think she's life. gonna read them, Dolan. I I don't know. I in mean, the transcripts of this proceeding. Yeah. Regardless if she does or or not, I yeah. mean, she got what was coming to her. So mm-hmm. she did. Yeah. Rough. Yep. Yeah. That so was, what do you think? I mean, Lucy, let be update. We were laughing at the beginning of this podcast. Are we gonna? Now get the, we're sad. <laughs> are we gonna? Are we gonna get the the same sort of hate? <laughs> I don't know. Just kidding. Maybe it's okay. We can do a mean tweets again. <laughs> yeah, just talking about the upcome. You know, everyone needs an update on what's going on in the world. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I mean, the episode in general, the very first uh, Lucy let be episode. Um, Sort of what kind of like gained us some f- listeners. Uh, hmm. Good and bad. Yeah, good and bad. They had a lot to say. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's still our mi- most listened to episode out of the now 50, 50 episodes that's out yeah. here. So, I mean, go back and listen to it. I mean, it's really it's really intriguing uh, just the entire case and, and you know, how little <laughs> we thought people were going to respond to it. We had no idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no idea. So that's that's really cool. So 50 episodes. Yeah. I was trying, to, I was trying to, like, make a cool Transition. segue, and I sort of you maybe failed, it. but... Um, what's your what's your most memorable one like which one did you like researching what did you what did you like oh i wasn't prepared for this um oh my gosh i don't know <laughs> i think about the chris dunch episode a lot dunch 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 because dunch, dunch, of dunch. that yeah and just because That's there was OG. so much stuff to talk about like i swear you were probably getting irritated about how much no shit no i, I had written know. down <laughs> oh my god you're trying to mean no uh, but there was so much but then there's the people like yosef mangala and just like world war ii is so interesting as it is yeah and it's just so twisted but that was a memorable one i think that was like the second episode we did but so. i think Yo- Yosef Mengele for me is definitely up there. I've always been uh, intrigued by like World War II mm-hmm. and like what was going on and why it was the way it was. And um, just learning about specifically, you know, Mengele, that was cool. I'd never really dove into a story. I just kind of knew that who one he was. was. Complex. Yeah. yeah. Um, because that without was, that man, right, we wouldn't have so many of the modern medical things that we have today. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of those, like, unfortunately fortunate, like, that's, yeah. Like, it feels like it had to happen, maybe. I mean, history sucks, and I think that's why Mm -hmm. it's so important, because then we understand why things are the way they are. And can Um, appreciate. Yeah, can appreciate the people that maybe had to go through Mm -hmm. those hardships to get where we are, and it's unfortunate, but it's, it's, it's good to talk about, and good to remember, and remind ourselves where we were, and how we got here, and um, so I think that episode, but then the other one that sticks out to me is the, uh, uh, the ambulance one, the skin, oh, oh, the skin the, hunters, the skin hunters. I want to say the body snatchers. <laughs> I mean, yes. sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. That, that one was in Poland and they were taking a long route to the hospital so people could die and then they could sell their bodies to mortuaries. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just messed up man mm-hmm. um on a lighter note <laughs> my favorite was nurse ratchet <laughs> nurse ratchet yes <laughs> because you thought it was real i thought it was time. real the whole time um or anything with 
someone who has three names so I can abbreviate them because Ashley loves it so much. <laughs> like who we're talking about next time? Who we are talking about next time. That's awesome. Cassidy, mm-hmm. so why do you want to be, a, so you're into true crime? I do love true, true, yeah. true crime, yeah. Well, how'd you get into true crime? Um, I, probably when I was a teenager, I started watching um, like the Disappeared show on the Discovery or the ID channel. I don't okay. think I've heard of that. No, I yeah. haven't. It's disappeared. So it's about um, people around the United States who disappeared without a trace, and they still, to this day, don't know where they are. Oh, my gosh. Witness Protection Program. Yeah. Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> yeah. No know. one talks about the Bermuda Triangle anymore. Maybe Is that we should talk still about real? it in October. <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> continue. No, you're confirmed fine. aliens. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of just started there. Um, it was it was a little lighter than, you know, the murder stories mm-hmm. that a lot of people are into now. So it kind of started there and built its way up to, <laughs> to what it is. What it is today. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for being on today. Thank you so much, you guys. And yeah. I'm so honored that it's the 50th episode that I'm yeah. here for. I yeah. hope that you had so much fun. I did. We'll have Talking to have you on murder. again. <laughs> I would love to. Of course. Yep. October. I have a question for you, oh. though, before we go. Okay. Um, if you were in a morgue, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> if you were in a morgue, like it's empty, maybe, not, maybe a haunted a morgue, haunted, perhaps. shut down morgue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would you sleep in one of the beds? Like, it, like one of the ones that they, like lockers in the wall beds. I mean, no. Like if that's where, if they were like, you have to stay the night and you have to stay in one of these like lockers that goes oh, to you. Like okay. so I, don't, I don't have a choice of whether I'm staying there or not. You're just asking me if I'm sleeping in one of the dead body lockers or like, if I'm going <laughs> to sleep on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Do you have to be shut in it? Or can it stay open? It can be cracked, I think. I'm going to make up the rules. It's I have so two hot. separate answers. I think if what I if know... What if the refrigeration was on? <sighs> you would die. No, like just a little, just little a bit. Little, like, like, just, just, like, like, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just turn the knob a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I knew that it was haunted, I would probably not. So I could be up and aware and ready to go. But okay. if, it, if it's okay. not haunted... I take that challenge. I don't think there's a chance that it's not haunted. I think I just assume more really? are probably haunted. You don't think? What do you? Th- you guys don't think? I don't know. Mm. But okay, you okay. and Joel are apparently like gonna take your chances sleeping in the refrigerators that they keep dead <laughs> bodies in. <laughs> no. Oh hey, man. Yeah. Well, get that October October is right around the corner, so we have to maybe talk about more spooky places. Asylum, I did like hospitals. that a lot. Yeah. It was fun. I liked when we did that. And there's so much to cover. There really is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, don't do anything Petter or Lucy would do. Yeah. 100%. For real. Or any of the people we mentioned before. Yeah, like any of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't do what they did. Nope. Um, so next time, though, in two weeks, we are talking about BJL. BJL. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for doing that for me. You're so welcome. <laughs> um, Which stands for? Bobby Joe Long. Mm-hmm. Bobby Joe Long. He's okay. an x ray technician, so we're coming for you, Allied. We are. Ooh. We are. Changing allied it up a little healthcare bit. Healthcare crimes. Mm hmm. Kind Is of. Is that the new name of our podcast? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. We should have Dan on here and just do a oh, whole bunch can. of allied people. Yeah. Oh, snap. Or Sorry. he can just come on next week. Why yeah. Not? He's out there. We can ask him. Mm. Hmm. I wonder if he likes true crime. He doesn't seem like the type of person that would be into this, but we can try. You never know. You know, Joel surprised me also. So Yeah. yeah. You, you never know. <laughs> true crime is for all yeah <laughs> really is Dang. on that note all right see ya murder <laughs> thank you for listening to healthcare horrors brought to you by atlas med staff just a reminder we are not healthcare professionals we are just fans of true crime talking about some of history's darkest moments in healthcare Stay tuned, stay healthy, and stay safe. Healthcare Wars. Murder.